cover. Let's get right into it. As you know, Robert Mueller's full Russia report is out this morning. Attorney General William Barr held a press conference right before the redacted report was released. The press conference was long and it was filled with legal jargon. It was hard to keep from zoning out. For example, take a look at Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. After finding no underlying collusion with Russia, the special counsel's report goes on to consider whether certain actions... <laughs> and this is how serious they're taking the report. Even Rod Rosenstein's facial expressions have been redacted. <laughs> the only other time I've seen a face like that is when my toddler suddenly doesn't have to use the potty anymore. <laughs> In response to the Attorney General's press conference, President Trump pinned this tweet to his account. No collusion, no obstruction. For the haters and the radical left Democrats, game over. In the Game of Thrones font, no less. I only hope this is Trump's final season. But this was great. This was great news. This was great news for Trump's hardcore supporters, or as they're also known, really white walkers. <laughs> uh, shortly after the press conference, redacted versions of the report were released, first to Congress and then to the public. So, of course, it was a media frenzy, and cable news put every reporter on it. Here's CNN and their massive panel of nine people. <laughs> it's basically CNN's version of Avengers Endgame. <laughs> As the day went on, they just kept piling on more reporters. By the end of the day, the panel looked like this. <laughs> so what's in the report? Apparently, Mueller's team found lots of evidence that Russia ran a massive online campaign, including hacking emails to undermine the 2016 election. Put it this way, Trump got into the White House about as legitimately as Laurie Loughlin's daughter got into USC. <laughs> The obstruction charge, according to the report, the president repeatedly tried to make efforts to interfere with the Russia investigation. But the only reason Trump didn't get charged with obstruction is that his aides refused to carry out his orders. Trump is so ineffective, he somehow managed to make his own campaign follow the law. <laughs> I mean, forget colluding with the Russians. Trump couldn't even collude with his own staff. <laughs> But charges or not, this is an unprecedented report that, that paints President Trump in a horrible light. His presidency is more than likely going to survive, but according to the report, even he didn't think that would happen. After Mueller was, appoint was appointed as special counsel, Trump apparently said, Oh, my God, this is terrible. This is the end of my presidency. I'm <laughs> Which I think we can all agree is clearly the words of an innocent man. <laughs> <laughs> Trump thought it was the end of his presidency. Unfortunately, as usual, he was completely wrong. <laughs> uh, and finally, I, I want to address this today to celebrate his apparent victory. President Trump tweeted out a video and, well, I'm not sure I like it. This is the actual video posted today by the President of the United States. Have a look. That's your headline. Report, no collusion. The Russia investigation is finally over. The news caught many people by surprise. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting on, on Mueller Report Thursday. It definitely wasn't this. You know, I guess this does explain why I got an amazing job offer from Fox News today. <laughs> By the way... <laughs> you believe it's really like By the way, Trump didn't include my punchline to that joke, and I just can't understand why. Roll the tape. The news <laughs> caught many people by surprise. It's never a good sign when after two years as president, the whole world is shocked because you didn't do something illegal. <laughs>